Three legends about Chinese Lunar New Year. Story one: The Legend of Nian. Chinese New Year's Day is called Guonian in Chinese, which can mean celebrate a new year or overcome Nian. The character Nian could mean year or the monster Nian. Have you heard of the legend of the monster Nian? Stop worrying and let me tell you the story. In ancient times, there was a monster named Nian or Nian Shou, with a long head and sharp horns. It dwelled deep in the sea for most of the year and only showed up every New Year's Eve to eat people and livestock in the villages. Therefore, on New Year's Eve, people would flee to remote mountains to avoid being harmed by the monster. People had lived in fear of this monster until an old man with white hair and a ruddy complexion visited the village. He refused to hide in the mountains along with the villagers, but successfully scared away the monster by pasting red papers on doors, burning bamboo to make a loud cracking sound, the precursor to firecrackers, lighting candles in the houses, and wearing red clothes. When the villagers came back, they were surprised. To discover that the village had not been destroyed and the old man was safe and sound, the old man told all the villagers that Nian was afraid of light, loud noises, and the color red. After that, every New Year's Eve, people did as the old man instructed, and the monster Nian never showed up again. This tradition has been continued until the present time and has become an important way to celebrate the arrival of the new year. Story two: The legend of why red envelopes are given. During the Chinese New Year period, the married or elderly give red envelopes to children or unmarried juniors. A red envelope is also called Nia Sui Qian, suppressing Sui money. Do you know why red envelopes are given? According to a legend, on New Year's Eve, besides the monster Nian, there was a demon named Sui that came out to terrify children while they were asleep. It was said that the children who were touched by the demon would be too scared to cry out, would get a terrible fever, and even become mentally unstable. To keep children safe from being harmed by Sui, parents would light candles and stay up the whole night. On one New Year's Eve, in an official's family household, the parents gave their child eight coins to play with in order to keep him awake. So, as to stop him being hurt by the demon, the child wrapped the coins in red paper, opened the packet, rewrap it, and reopen it. Until he was too tired and fell asleep, then the parents placed the packet with eight coins under his pillow. When Sui tried to touch his head, the eight coins emitted a strong light and scared the demon away. The eight coins turned out to be eight fairies and guarded the child the whole night. From then on, giving red envelopes has become a way to keep children safe and bring good luck. Story three: The legend of why spring couplets are pasted on door frames. On the Chinese Spring Festival, you will find that every family in China will put up Spring Festival couplets. Do you know why the spring couplets are displayed? It originated from a legend too. Let me tell you. It is recorded that the origin of spring couplets can be dated back to 1,000 years ago. An ancient superstition tells that. Peach wood contains the spirit of the five fairy wood, which has a bitter smell and can suppress evil spirits and all ghosts. So every New Year, people hang Tao Fu charms written on peach wood on doors to keep all the family safe. Legend also has it that there was a huge peach tree stretching for more than 1,500 kilometers on a mountain in the ghost world. To the northeast of the tree, two guards named Sheng Tu and Yu Lei guarded the entrance to the ghost world. They would catch the ghosts who harmed people and feed them to tigers. 
Therefore, all ghosts are afraid of the two guards. It was believed that to hang a piece of peach wood with an inscription of the two guards' name on doors could scare evil things away. Pictures of the fearsome guards Sheng Tu and Yu Lei are still pasted on some doors. By the Song Dynasty, people began to write two auspicious antithetical lines on the peach wood instead of names of the two guards. Later, the peach wood was replaced by red paper, which symbolizes good luck and happiness. Since then, pasting spring couplets has been a custom to welcome the new year and express best wishes. This custom continues to this day, and it's a very important spring festival activity.